Hey guys, so I just finished working on the last episode for Young Guns. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, really like kind of what we're doing with the show, breaking these up into smaller stuff. So, uh, on to the next match. We've got your boy Hammer versus Shaft from uh, Defy. And he just beat Artemis Spence for that title. So, Shaft's kind of a big deal and uh, he really wants another title. So, obviously he wants to lock horns with Hammerstone. So, did I make him a fan of either? I don't know. Let's check it out. The show finally did kick off with Hammerstone and Shaft. Yes! Okay, so we gotta talk about this one. First time seeing Shaft, what did yes. you think? I didn't know what to think of Shaft. Um, I saw the guy, he's a big guy, which I always like to see because I always grew up imagining these he guys. Heavily he tattooed. Heavily tattooed, strong, and I saw online he's a Navy veteran, which is nice. Dude looks great. Big, strong, not to be trifled with, hit hard. He hit a chop, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> sounded like a gun went off, like a twenty-two. I got it on video. I'm so glad I did because you wouldn't believe me if I told you how loud it was. He chopped this man to hell. He chopped him right back to Seattle. I don't know what happened, but he chopped Hammerstone, and it was gnarly. And then, of course, my man Hammerstone. So what do you think of him coming to the ring to that uh, to that song? Not uh, Foo Fighters. No, it's not Foo Fighters. It's the, uh, it's the other one. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But he comes to the ring to this what? This awesome the, the, song. He comes to the and then all of a sudden he just comes rushing out as it kind of goes, you know, the song kicks off. He looked great. Honestly, I was like, this is going to sound kind of weird. But I thought he gave me some Shawn Michaels vibes a little bit. He's much bigger than Shawn Michaels. Well, and this is this is his evolved look. So he's been he's been kind of doing this gimmick for about a year now, and it's really dialed in, and it looks good. Okay. Before that, he had very very long hair, and everybody would just call him Single H. Single H. All right. Your boy Hammer. YBH. Mmm. YBH. Yeah, I like that. So well, his, uh, but that's uh, that he had an NWO style shirt that said YBH. Your boy Hammer. So you'll nice. see you'll see some of the old school guys like Bay and some of those that are still rock those. Uh, Your all boy right. Hammer very shirts. cool. But uh, he the, he had a, a Triple H kind of look, and so mm. for him. He wanted to take it to that next level. He has this kind of Tyler Durden style look. You okay, know, that's yeah. kind of very renegade. That's a really good way to put it. It's definitely a Tyler Durden kind of a look. But he looks great. Again, he's huge, he's buff. And then he got in the ring and they started kicking some butt. They were trading some power moves, some slams, some different things up. They're both big beef boys. Big beef boys. They put on a hell of a show. I was super excited to see a lot of them. And I really enjoyed um, the story. Like, we're looking at some pictures here. There's a lot of, um, of gestures, a lot of talk, a lot of just intensity back and forth between the two guys. You really felt like there was something on the line. It wasn't a title match, but they still had something to prove to each other. So there was some smack talk. There was some, you know, charging yeah, but, up. And you know? remember, the, the, the winner was going to be uh, the next person to uh, title, get a title opportunity. Is that what it was? Yep. I'm so, sorry. So, I'm no, sorry. no. So it is the number one contender for the PCW Ultra. So oh, Hammerstone will Hammerstone get to wrestle for the title. And he's going to, oh. See, I missed that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, he, and he has wrestled for the PCW title previously and did not win, but it was under different conditions. So now he's got another shot. Exactly. Hammerstone, you got to make the most of your shot, my friend. I love the look. I love the move set. I like the attitude. I'd like to see you with some, some gold around your waist. Yes. That would be pretty awesome. All right, guys. So that's the match against Schaff and uh, Hammerstone. Hammerstone, congratulations. Well-earned, well-deserved victory. See you in January at the anniversary show against whoever's the champion. Shaft, we'll see you soon, buddy. Congrats on winning the Defy World title. I do want to come up to Washington Hall and see wrestling in that building. It is magical. I do want to do hashtag Pete's Picks in that building. So Seattle and possibly even Portland, you're on notice that eventually the Encyclopedia and possibly the JAG will be coming to Defy shows in Seattle and or Portland. That said, we've got a women's title match next. It was Viva Victoria Vaughn against Sumi Sakai. Uh, really interested to see kind of what Jack thought of this match. This was some crazy Joshi stuff, guys. So please tune in tomorrow and check it out. Please also hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notifications when new episodes are out. Really appreciate any of the feedback or the comments from you guys. We're really trying to mix it up, trying to make the content a little bit easier to kind of digest in quicker clips as well. So thank you again, guys. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.